All right, here we go, Big Daddy Shin. Day 9.30 at the park. So uh, by the time you see this, you're gonna wonder why I, uh, I didn't post for a week, okay? I mean, by that time, you'll probably hear my story on, uh, uh, on, on, on another video where I say, oh yeah, here we go, I'm gonna upload, you know, seven videos in a row, right? Or 14, or what, whatever it is, right? And then so, the reason why is because Saturday night, today's Sunday, I got a strike on my uh, YouTube, right? And then so when you get a strike, they give you a strike for, you know, it's like 90 days or something like that. And then, and then uh, you can't post for a week. You can't do any live. You can't do anything. So it's like a quarantine <laughs> from YouTube. But, you know, it's perfectly fine. But, you know, I try to do something new. But I didn't go public, I did it in a private thing. And apparently uh, something was running on one of my screens and it was copyright and then they just dinged me. So I figure, okay, it's like I, I was having the wrong screen being, uh, being filmed, make sense? So, you know, it's my fault, what am I gonna do? My mistake, I just gotta be more careful. So what happens is if you get one of these strikes, it goes away in 90 days, but you can't, you can't, uh, you know, post for a week. Now, if I do it again within that 90 days, then I will be uh, banned for two weeks. And then after that, if you do it again, in 90 days, then they just cancel your account. But I'm not really worried about that because, you know, I went five years and I never got a strike, you know? And then I'm trying to do new and creative things. Didn't happen. But it's kind of funny about the whole quarantine thing, right? You have the people in the bubble. So there's a lot of things going on where, uh, like, you know, like the, the NBA bubble right and then if people leave that bubble so if you don't know what the bubble is they put all the participants in a quarantined area so they could play the sports with each other and be safe it's like a bubble living inside a bubble but if you leave outside the bubble that means you're exposed like different people so if you're like uh what is it that one basketball player he goes oh yeah i gotta go to a funeral and then turns out that while he's at the funeral, he goes to the funeral. Before he comes back, he goes to the strip club and he takes pictures. It's like, okay, that dude should be banned from social media. But, uh, yeah, so that dude's going to get quarantined, right? So you have a lot of people that do weird things and they're, they're like quarantined, right? And then so that's why... I mean, I don't want to do anything that's going to jeopardize me being able to see my family or friends or whatever. So I'm not going to expose myself to that kind of stuff. So I'll have to do these little self quarantines and stuff, you know. But as <coughs> we're kind of open, kind of not, it's like uh, we all have to be responsible. But it's going to be tough because... A lot of people are being careful and a lot of people are not being careful and different organizations are doing different rules. So it's like, you know, like NBA, they're doing the whole, you know, you, you're, you bust the bubble and you're quarantine. And then I don't, I don't know how the football is doing it or baseball and then schools, they're saying like, you know, when they do open, I heard stuff like, if a kid's sick in your class, then the teacher has to miss a week, 
or something like that. And if there's a certain amount of cases, then the whole school has to close down for like you know, a week or two. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's horrible. But that is, that is the place we live in now, right? And then so, I don't know. It's just, it's just, when I realize I did something stupid, right? And then I can't post on Facebook. Now I can post on Facebook. I just can't post on YouTube. And I'm just so used to doing this, what I was doing. And then so now I gotta stay home and not do game night, not do karaoke nights. It's kind of weird, it really is. And then so they're telling me, hey, you can't do this. Okay. But, you know, if something happens, something happens, they try to protect themselves. Just like wherever we get shut down, they're trying to protect themselves. And uh, that's why we gotta do our part and be careful. So, you know, this one, I guess, I'm gonna label this one careful quarantine because that's what we have to do. Whether you believe in the hype or not, we gotta follow the rules. And then so, you know, it's like, uh, uh, yeah, if you expose yourself to people who been exposed to other stuff, like even, even, you know, I heard there's like some churches and stuff, you know, they're getting people that just come to church and then they're sick. You know, you, what can you do about it? You really can't. And then, so from that one person, they're going to blame you know, like the news and stuff. Oh, people are getting sick at the church and stuff, whatever, right? But, you know, you hear those protesters, you know, people that are sick, they still go. A lot of people just don't care. You have the people go to the beaches, they just don't care. You know, people to the malls and stuff. I'll admit, I wanted to go to Disneyland or Disney, downtown Disney, okay? And then I figure, you know what? It's just like walking around here. Put my mask on, go hear the Disney music, sing all the people. You know, I'm not gonna go shake hands or I'm not hanging out with people in any lines. But I figure, okay, what harm could it be? But I thought about it. My choice is, okay, I go there for a sense of personal enjoyment. But if I do, then it's up to me to self-quarantine when I go see my mom, my family, my friends. And is it worth it? No, it's not. For me to go, no rides, no nothing, no, that's high risk, low reward, little reward. You know, I always tell people, yeah, high risk, high reward, you know, low risk, low reward. This one is high risk, low reward. And that's stupid, you know? Why would you bet a thousand dollars to win one dollar? right so that's the thing just being responsible and if if you're irresponsible you just got to pay the price you know like a lot of my students you know they uh they fail the classes so that's why they have me for the summer school to make it up so they can graduate you know it's kind of like a quarantine Uh, anyways, I gotta respond to these messages. This is really weird because, you know, the last couple like times I came to this park, a lot of people. But maybe because it's kind of hot right now, and for me to walk around in this mask, kind of sucks. It really does. But you know, there are few people, like the people that are coming. I'm about to pass them. Give me a second, and then uh, they're not wearing mask either. It's okay. Oh, okay. They, they went across the uh, grass. So, um, yeah, I know quarantine. It's not the best thing. It's, I guess it's not really lockdown. Lockdown is like they just made us go in. Like uh, when those protests were getting really dangerous, they give us curfew. Lockdown. But, um, 
I don't know. I wish I had some insight on when all this will end. I really don't know. My guess is right after the election, all of a sudden it's like, hey, where'd the virus go? <sighs> but in the meantime, we just gotta be safe because we wanna live long enough to see if that's the case, right? And uh, Monique, if you're watching, here's the water. I really am digging these parts with trees. Oh, not right here. I really want right here. Appreciating nature. Maybe I need to go buy a house where it's like nature. I mean, this is what Harold wants. He wants like live on acres of land, make your own farm and stuff. So when it comes down to quarantine, shoot, you live off your own land. And then there I was thinking like, oh, I'm going to be on the lake and have a boat, have my piano. Oh, anyways. Big Yai Shen Day, 9.30 in the books. So, today was a fun day, right? I mean, it's more relaxing because I'm not worried about like when I'm gonna post my videos and all that kind of stuff because, yeah, gotta quarantine, right? And then, uh, and then, you know, all different stuff, lockdown of, uh, Stuff we gotta stay in, be safe. And we just gotta just figure things out. You know what I mean? Well, maybe you know what I mean, maybe not. But it's just, the number one thing about right now is just we gotta just be safe, okay? I know it's like a total stretch from me getting a strike on YouTube to us being safe from the virus. I get it. But you try coming up with 930 things to talk about. All right, but anyways, Big Daddy Shen, day 930. If I could exercise 930 days in a row, you could exercise 930 days in a row. Because if I could do it, you could do it. And I'm doing it. Uh, let's say... I don't know, quarantine? <laughs> okay. Let's say uh, uh, forced quarantine. There we go. Forced quarantine. All right, awesome.